Hello, and welcome back to my page. And if you are new here, my name is Claudia Nare, and on here we talk about fragrance layering and different fragrances that are in my collection. Uh, I like to take a journey into fragrance. I love fragrance here. Uh, if you also want to get into something that I do on the daily, then meet me on Instagram. On there, we have a lot of fun. We do reels. We just laugh and enjoy ourselves. It's a beautiful fragrance community. But today's topic is going to be about my Middle Eastern fragrances. Latafa is the brand for today. And that's something you're interested in and you want to know about what fragrances do I have from Latafa. Stay tuned. <music> get into it the very first one i have is kaid kaid is a fragrance that is normally marketed towards men uh but if you follow my channel you know that i don't i like fragrances i don't really care where they're marketed to this particular fragrance i reach for when i want something amber based something real cinnamon spicy like uh, the notes in this one that stand out to me is the cinnamon and the cardamom and the uh, argar wood it is just such a beautifully sexy cozy scent like it engulfs you so if you're looking for something that is spicy but not too spicy just to you will be seen this is will meet you in the room before you get there so people would know that you are coming and that is kaid kaid first of all the bottle is so gorgeous and that's one of the things i love about middle eastern fragrances they put a lot of work into the bottle even though the pricing is really not that high like i want to say this one if i can find the pricing i'll list it but this one here um i i don't even think i paid over 40 dollars for it but more and more people are talking about it so the price could increase now be very careful because this one does have leather so i do find that this is a going out fragrance not so much a uh, a fragrance that you just casually wear and that is kaid all right and my next one is sticking with the amber i go and i reach for this one and this one is called ramis gold it is so it is so good i said <laughs> It's like I can't even think of another something else to explain it. It is so good. The opening is apple, right? So it's it's apple and pineapple. So it's real like fruity in the opening. It's like it's a gorgeous fruity opening. But then the heart of the fragrance is jasmine. So you get jasmine, you get kayak wood, you get patchouli, and then here comes the amber. But what sits on your skin is the vanilla and the your langy lang. Oh, I love this one. I love this one so much. It's an easy reach for me um, only because sometimes if I just don't know what I want to wear and, and I don't want to reach for, say, one of my high-end fragrances, then I'll reach for this one. Um, so I'll let you look at the bottle. You know, the bottle is absolutely gorgeous. You see all the writing that they put on it. Like, it is just a beautiful, it's beautiful packaging. It is just absolutely beautiful packaging. I can say Latafia put a lot of work into that. Like, on it, it says love and hot and cool and tough and jazzy. I think that's all the emotions they believe that you will feel when you wear this one. And this one is Rosmond's Gold. And again, in the uh, description, I'll po if I can find them, I'll post the pricing form. You can find these on Amazon, but I'll I'll put a link down there for you. Okay, my next one is actually has been said to be a clone for uh, Atomic Rose. So it's right here, and I'm trying to take some of the some of the lighting off of it so that you can see it. Um, and I, I can't first of all it looks just like the initial bottle <laughs> so they pretty much just copied the bottle but the fragrance is so good i had a decant of atomic rose so i am at least 90 percent positive that this is a head-on dupe but this one i want to say you can get for 69 dollars even sometimes as low as 45 dollars if you catch it on a good um website this one here is just a beautiful rose fragrance. 
It is so sexy. It is date night, right? It is compliment a getter. It is amazing. It opens up with bergamot and, and pink um, pepper. And what I'll do is I'll list both notes for Atomic Rose and this fragrance side by side so you can see. It's pre pretty much head on. It's Turkish Rose. It's Bulgarian Rose. It's Argyle Wood. It's delicious. It's absolutely delicious and gorgeous. It's not too overbearing. Um, like punch you in your face rose is well blended rose. The difference in pricing is this you can get under a hundred dollars. Atomic rose, I want to say you would pay somewhere in the 200 uh mark for it. So the top of did an amazing job. Um, it is a bit of a glare because of all of the gold that's on this bottle, but it is a gorgeous scent. If you can get your hands on this one, and again, I'll try to list it in the description where you can find these, you can get your hands on it, you will be impressed. And this one here is called uh, Badi Ad Oud Amethyst. But I should have that listed across the bottom. This is a gorgeous scent. My next one is Kait Al Arba Royal Blends. Forgive me if, I'm, if I am butchering <laughs> that name. But the fragrance is so good. It is so gorgeous. This one here, again, just look at the presentation. Isn't it just absolutely gorgeous? This one here is just fruits and apples, right? So if you're looking for something gourmand with just a touch of spiciness, not too much, um, not overbearing at all, not one of those um, choke you out fragrances, just a really, I call it a pretty, a pretty girl fragrance. This is it. This is it. Oh my God, this is it. I absolutely really enjoyed this one. Fruits, apples, woody nose, musk. It's gorgeous on the skin. And this is by Latafa. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, my next one, we're moving into the cozy scents. So like around for me, I wear these last two scents in where it's cold weather outside, bundled up. And probably a sweater, co you know, cozied up with my significant other, just leaving my impression everywhere. So the next one we have is um, Amir Oud Intense. I don't, I don't have the first one, so I'm not quite sure <laughs> what the Intense Oud one, why that one is intense versus the original. I don't have the original. If there's one that exists um, and you know about it, please tell us. But this one here is just, it's woody notes. It smells like, to me, it gives me a lot of um, similarities to Buy the Fireplace by Replica. That's the opening. So if you like that opening, then that's what this is. It's woody notes, so it has like, um, almost like, again, like a fireplace, like the smell of the crackling fire right and you get that aroma that fills your home and then it has the argyle wood and then there's a vanilla it's like a sweet scent in the middle so it's like vanilla and sugar it's a double dose of um of oud in this so i get i get why they may say that it's intense um it has sandalwood now i'm not that big on herbal notes but this one does have some herbal notes but i want to say the herbal notes are more like it's not greenery I like this one. I really like this one. But I find that I wear this one. It has to be cold outside. It has to be um, really cold outside for me to wear this one because I want this to project off of me. So that's when I normally put this one on. All right. And my last one is not, the, it's, it's not last because it was not my favorite. It's just I went down and grabbed my Latafas and started talking about them. You have not heard about this one. This is a deal for the fragrance. I got this one, I know for sure, for $35. This one here is rose and saffron. It has everything I like. It's rose, it's saffron, it's argyle wood, it's caramel. It gives you additional floral notes in it. But it's the reason in it that I enjoy. The reason, the amber, and the incense. This is a sexy scent. For $35 or less, or, you know, again, shop around and see what you can find. But this 
is gorgeous. And again, you can look at the presentation. Latapa puts a lot of thought into their presentation. But this is such an affordably gorgeous scent. It's oud mood. Like it's just, it puts you in a sexy mood. It is a beautiful, I absolutely adore this fragrance. And Latafa for Middle Eastern fragrances is, they do such an amazing job, such an amazing job that I find that I, I rush to them constantly. They do such an amazing job. All right, that is the end of the Latafa fragrances that I have. That is not the end of all the Middle Eastern fragrances that I have. If you want me to continue to talk about my Middle Eastern fragrances, which I have found is super affordable, but yet the power longevity of the fragrances are top notch. Then tell me in the chat and let me know to keep going because I have so many more that I could talk about. Latafa is one of the ones that I find that I have the most in my collection. That's why I chose to start off with that one first. Uh, but I do have a lot. And if you haven't got into Middle Eastern fragrances, I think that you should. You would truly enjoy it. Again, this is always a pleasure for me to sit down and talk to you all about my collection, about my fragrances. I greatly appreciate you. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.